This is a story that I learned in Arnhem Land. How you learn from some people their tradition. We it was a place that we went fishing with some indigenous Aborigines people in Arnhem Land, and uh, he was going to take us me and, and Ellie to go and do fishing with them. So we went with the spear, and you pay him, but they'll take around to the fishing. So we went, and there was a place, a round place, a rock like this, and full of water. It was like a fridge, and they keep all the free, the fishes in there. So whatever they want. They get it and they eat it fresh because it was just big bait. So he took us there and I was keep saying to him, Barabandi, Barabandi, Barabandi. And he wasn't saying much because I was just keep saying, because I've lived there so I knew about Barabandi, Barabandi. I was keep saying Barabandi when he was looking around, we were looking around with the spirit in this bay. And Ellie, Ellie and I were outside waiting. And then I don't know how he can speak this small fish. He just, I was saying Barabandi, Barabandi. So he speared one, douche, and he got it. And he said, Mangro Jack, this is better than Baramandi. I didn't even know about Mangro Jack. So me and Ellie outside on the sand, and he threw that fish, we caught it. And then he went around this pond again with the spear, and Ellie and I watching him. We didn't have to go mobile those days to video it. So he's watching, and then he speared, I keep saying, Baramandi, Baramandi. He said, no, no, and zoom. And he got another one, same size, bigger. And then he threw it on the on the on the side on the side. That's two. There's three of us, right? To have lunch. And then, and he was looking around, looking around, trying to blah blah blah. And then he, again, he speared another fish, right? This is a really true story. He he speared this fish, and when he lifted out of the water, the fish twiggled up and fell in the water, back in the water, and he just walked out. He walked out like, like the lesson that I learned from that day. I never forget for the rest of my life. I almost tell it. Like that wasn't the day's fish or we had enough. I don't know, but I'll le learn lesson. Sometimes not to go and catch 600 fish and just don't eat and put them in the fridge or four. So that was so nice. And then we brought those fish and he got some out, wash them in the, in the sea and the fire and we ate them. But I couldn't believe it. if we were there, we were a car catch fish and after fish and after fish and after fish and you don't eat it. So the Aboriginal people, when they go into the sea or the river or anywhere to catch fish, they just catch what they eat and that's it. No extra. Guys, Coffee Snob Rob signing off.